hello everyone how are you hope that uh, all are okay and all are fine um, i am asm arif welcoming you to my new tutorial of adobe illustrator cc 17 i'll show you today how to make a logo uh, with uh, using ai that means the adobe illustrator uh, it's very simple i'll make a very simple uh, logo uh, and the color I'll give the color with the color gradient at first I'll go to new and I'll uh, take a new blank canvas which is uh, 500 by 500 pixel okay and the uh, one and I'll give here logo okay then create 500 by 500 and then I'll select the color gradient I'll turn off the stroke uh, and I'll keep only the color like that and then I'll apply the gradient over there I'll take the at first this gradient I'm showing uh, here how to um, uh, take the customized gradient and um, here is one this one is to pull you know that and uh, gradient means that you can mix up one two three or another um, the uh, greater than the one in color that means multiple colors and i'll select i'll choose uh, the two color if you press over there then you'll get the color swatch uh, in here rgb and um, you can also take the basic colors from here i'm taking from this color palette i'm selecting the orange one and another one I'll take like that or I can choose this thing or this one okay I think this one is uh, good okay this is my the color grid you can also make it uh, your own uh, that's why I am not giving this color swatch uh, on my video description and um, um, I'll give uh, the full project over there you can use it uh, your own okay thanks then um, I'll go to the shape uh, which is over there and I'll take the circle that means the ellipse tool ellipse tool uh, you can press L from the keyboard um, it will active then press and hold the shift key and make a circle simple circle like that okay uh, I'm just making it um, uh, the simple color. I'll apply gradient at last of the um, logo and I'll copy this one another. You can press Ctrl C and Ctrl F. Ctrl C for copy, uh, Ctrl F for the forward paste. He has to copy. Okay, fine. I'm pressing Ctrl Z for making it. Okay, then I'll reduce the radius that means shift and alter alter you have to press shift alter at a time and just drag it to the center and for the okay difference i'll give the another color okay then what i'll do then i'll take another shape which is the rectangle type like that okay and i'll rotate it okay I'll give it to I'm I'll cut this one the middle side of the circle I'll cut and I'll use the path pathfinder tools and go to the window and the pathfinder just here and you can also press the shift control f9 okay gone and now I'll press place this shape over there I'll keep the same radius okay okay good and I'm giving the same color here it's look like a Q is it and um, you can give uh, if you are using uh, creative cloud or the previous version uh, if you are using the previous version from the CC uh, this one is not work this one won't be work uh, if you mm, if you use the creative cloud then this section will be active that uh, this dot and this dot it is for if you press this one and just 
curve it it will gone like that okay I'll just make it like that and I'll make a copy and a transform and rotate I'll rotate 180 degree maybe this one is not placed properly okay press Y for getting the shape like that you can mm, control R for ruler and you can make a ruler over there take a ruler and control Y again and select this shape and the ruler at a time by pressing control shift and select it again and mm, alignment you can get this window over there the alignment align okay alignment you'll get it where is my alignment okay let me find it out layer okay window and the alignment oh no I've done a mistake I just uh, get and I put the tick mark off that's why the alignment option gone don't do this type of mistake okay I'm pressing it okay alignment again I got it and then I'm just pressing okay no need to keep the guideline and I'm deleting this one okay and I'll make it a color sorry okay then I'll give uh, I'll make it this one is one color go to the pathfinder and make it a one component like that one thing and this one is the other thing and now I'll give the gradient over there and select this one press control so only I and just click over there it will take the same color and then I okay I'm just this one is one layer and this one is another layer I'll keep this layer in front of the that one and then just give con press control G it's only G and the adjusting the gradient same gradient same you can make it a different type of it's a different thing you can just okay why make sure that this one is the middle of this circle then it will be the same thing control Y okay I'm interesting in the gradient color just because of you know that the color of this thing is not same G for gradient I'm trying the new things that's why I'm just rotating this one you can try it your own okay one thing I can do that is I can rotate this one or make 
making it like that. can align this one like that but you have to maintain the ratio select this one and okay this one is a big point okay can only g and give the color Then my logo is done. You can give the name over there, make it group, and give the name the set E R O S I X 06. 06 will be my company name, and I'll give there some techniques apply I'll use font the robot to I'll give this font link on my video description 06 06 06 I'll make it the lighter one okay and give the ash color over there okay. my logo is ready and alignment make the alignment like that you can expand you can uh, give a space between the letters and I'll give the space 111 okay 06 and I can if you want to give the uh, gradient in this text a text mm, you will have to create outline at first then press I and select this one and just adjust the gradient things ctrl G for gradient adjustment okay 06 06 is my logo for today and I'll give the alignment in the middle it will be more okay then make it group done my logo done and if you want to give to client this logo you have to just decorate this one take uh, 5 500 by 500 another box I'll give the blank colors okay then I'll copy this one and paste over there I just press the alter button and just moving this one and export it to give your client and you can give it the darker color this one is more good okay. 06 here in the logo for the client Thank you so much thanks for watching my video and do subscribe my channel feel free to share with your friends and hope that he'll be great thank you so much